We have Brett Kissel on the line today. He is a Canadian country music artist from Alberta and has a crazy awesome song out right now. It is called Hockey, Please Come Back. I think that is how everyone in Canada is feeling right now. Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, well, I really appreciate getting the opportunity to talk with you guys, to talk about music, talk about hockey, and especially this new song that's kind of exploded for me as of late. So thank you uh, for getting me on the show. No problem. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, it that is exactly what the song has done. It has exploded. You released it, what, like a week ago, and it has almost 50,000 views? It's pretty crazy. In just under a week, we're, yeah, we're right around that. I mean, thousands of people have, have just, uh, you know, logged onto YouTube to watch this song, Hockey Please Come Back, and I, I can't believe it. It's really beyond kind of my wildest dreams when you think about it. The whole song came together. I just wrote it in about 15 minutes. I, uh, I, I wrote it, you know, uh, the day before I went to Nashville, and I was spending some time with uh, some friends of mine from uh, the band that I know you know very well, Emerson Drive, and yeah. they actually recorded this song for me, and they played on it and sang harmonies on it, so it's great how so many Canadians and great groups are rallying behind this song, and, you know, within, within a few days, I mean, it's got 50,000 views on YouTube, we, we can't even believe it. That is unbelievable and, and very cool. I didn't realize the connection with Emerson Drive for that. That is awesome. So what inspired you to write this kind of song? Well, I probably never would have, you know, uh, gone out and written a song and, and kind of made it in, into what it is right now if it wasn't for my wife, Cecilia. See, she's downstairs in our living room and she's watching, I don't know, like Desperate Housewives of Atlanta <laughs> or New Jersey or something like that. All these girls are talking behind each other's backs. <laughs> It's real quality TV, apparently. So of course. So she calls me downstairs and she says, hey, you got to watch this. You'll never believe what just happened. And I kind of got upset. And I got frustrated. And I said, hey, you know this wouldn't happen if hockey was on? And then she got frustrated with me for getting frustrated with her. And she said, you, Brett, have been complaining about this since the lockout started at the beginning of October. And my wife was sick and tired of it. She said, get it off your chest. And if you claim to be this big country songwriter, why don't you just write a song about it? So I did. So I went upstairs to my music room and I wrote a song, like I said, about 15 minutes. And it came out and then I started playing it for friends and for family. And my buddies in Emerson Drive and they said, we got to record this song. And sure enough, we did. And if it wasn't for her, kind of... Uh, you know, kind of uh, sticking it to me, uh, I don't think I, uh, I would have uh, come up with, uh, with the tune. That is awesome, and a, a great backstory to that song. Now, you've had a lot of, I assume, fan responses to this song. I know I've seen a bunch of comments on YouTube. Have people kind of reached out to you because of this song? People have. It's been crazy to the type of people that have reached out. I, I know that there are people out in Australia, Canadians who are out, you know, just living in Australia for a couple of months or hanging out there that have, you know, seen the song. Um, I've done things on, on the Weather Network. The Weather Network called me, and I was I was on TV doing a big story with them. And no way. It's kind of the big winter pastime, and Canadians are going crazy without it. And then for me as a hockey fan, a true blue hockey fan, you wouldn't believe it, but Kelly Rudy and Ron McLean from Hockey Night in Canada, um, their their staff had contacted me, and I was on Kelly Rudy's Hockey Night in Canada radio show no with way. Uh, Elliot Friedman and PJ Stock and all those guys from CBC's Hockey Night in Canada, and, and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, as a hockey fan, uh, I would have never thought in a million years that I would ever have a reason or an opportunity to ever talk with those guys. So my brother, who's an even bigger hockey fan than I am, <laughs> he's kind of... Uh, He's kind of thinking that this whole country music business is pretty cool as he's been tuning in and I've been talking with these guys. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a dream come true. I can't even believe it myself. That is really cool. Now, you filmed this video in, I'm assuming, was it all filmed in Edmonton? Yeah, the entire video was filmed in Edmonton. And one of the cool things we got to do was film in Rexall Place, which is the home of the Edmonton Oilers. And we got to film this at like center ice but in the empty arena which was kind of the perfect setting to for the song hockey please come back because Absolutely. As you know, we miss hockey it's an empty arena there's nothing going on in this building it's sitting empty for the year so uh it's been pretty cool to get that opportunity if you want to check out the video to brett kissel's uh song Hockey, please come back. You can check it out at brettkissel.com. Now, Brett, you also have lots of other music. Uh, do you want to kind of tell us about some of the uh, upcoming uh, things going on in your career? Because we know that you have an album coming out soon. 
Well, I appreciate you saying that, and you know, as soon as um, this song, Hockey Please Come Back, was released on iTunes, um, we're getting a great response, and there's just a little plug there. People do want to hear the song and put it on their smartphones, but after that, we're getting ready, and we're getting very, very excited to hit the road and uh, go on a national radio tour and a few national tours coast to coast to promote my new album that's going to be out in 2013. We don't have an official release date just yet, but we can't wait until it does come out because it's going to be great for me. I've written all 16 of the songs that wow. are on this new album. And uh, it's a great mix between the traditional country that I grew up playing and the new country that I'm so excited about uh, sharing with, you know, my new fans and everything like that. So it's... Uh, it's an absolutely wonderful project, one that I've been excited about for the last few years as we've been creating it. So, you know, we just really hope that, uh, you know, the, uh, the crowd and the Canadians, uh, you know, coast to coast can uh, embrace this project like they have uh, hockey. Please come back. Definitely. Now, Brett, you're very involved in the social media world as well. Do you maybe want to tell people how they can get in touch with you, uh, not only yeah. through your website? I would love to have uh, folks you know, contact me anytime, send me a direct message or a tweet on Twitter very simple, at Brett Kissel. Go on to my Facebook page, because I'm active on Facebook as well. My Facebook page is Brett Kissel Music, or at any time, if you want to get like all of the, you know, minute by minute, play by play, <laughs> on me and my career, you can always head out to brettkissel.com. 